charity says elderly people are being abandoned by their banks. Today, HSBC announced more closures in Somerset. People are using internet banking, but an MP is asking, what about customers who don't have computers? Clinton Rogers reports. Terry and Shirley Weston are, it's claimed, a dying breed. In a computer age, they still want to do their banking face to face. But today, they learned their branch in Shepton Mallet is closing. So will they now be using a computer? What's that? <laughs> I ain't got one, mate. Can't do nothing on computer or nothing like that. Not online or nothing like that either. The only line we got is a closed line. HSBC is closing this branch and another in Burnham-on-Sea because they say customer numbers are falling, 31% down here. In a statement, HSBC say that 93% of contact with the bank is made either through the telephone, on the internet or on smartphones. On top of that, they say, 97% of cash withdrawals are made through an ATM. And so, according to HSBC, most of their customers are already managing to conduct their business without the need for a branch. But the local MP says banks are deserting the high street at an alarming rate. 11 in his constituency alone in the last 18 months. He says the banking industry needs to have a social conscience. We also need to make sure that we leave on a high street an accessible banking facility, be it a post office or a community bank hub, so that people who cannot travel, cannot use the internet, or small businesses have somewhere that they can do their banking. The charity Age UK says that banks are ignoring a potentially profitable part of society by closing branches. They can still keep those branches open by being more age friendly. If they do that, they're going to encourage more older people to bank with them. So at the end of the day, they remain a resource within a community and they remain able to make money, to make a profit, to be a commercial activity. In Glastonbury, they fought a very public campaign to save their banks, but to no avail. Now the town has none. And the fear is many other communities may now go the same way. Clinton Rogers, BBC Points West, Shepton Mallet. And you've been joining in our discussion on the health of our high street banks on Facebook. Julie Skilton Cunliffe told us she now has to go to Stroud or Gloucester from Frampton on Severn, around eight miles in both cases, to pay a check in. Annette Caller says Yeovil lost its uh, small branch of Barclays on the Lynx estate, which was so useful for her elderly father. And Charlotte Gower says Winscombe in North Somerset used to have a NatWest, Barclays, HSB. Internet banking is fine for most things, but she has now to uh, now go to Whirl uh, if she wants to visit a bank.